Japan is located on the Pacific Ring of Fire and is home to 275 volcanoes. Of those, over 100 are active. In Hokkaido, where I live, there are 52 volcanoes, with 20 of them active. The landscapes that have been transformed by volcanoes are sometimes stark and barren, but given time, they become rich, dynamic, and vibrant locations, perfect for a photographer's lens. One such location, Tarumai Garo, is my destination today. It was a hot and muggy day. I packed up my car with a lot of gear that I didn't even use. I was really looking forward to escaping the craziness of everyday life. Getting out into nature is a cathartic experience for me. Being able to photograph all of it, well, that's the icing on the cake. I've only been here once before and was taken with the unexpected beauty that I found. It certainly didn't feel like Hokkaido. This place looked like a tropical oasis from the Jurassic period. I mean, perhaps I'm exaggerating a bit, but it really is a unique location. It took a bit to remember how to get down into the gorge. There had been a few obvious landslides here and there, and I had to search around for a safe descent. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sean Keenan, and today we're visiting Tarumai Garo. This is a, a gorge that is about an hour and a half southeast of Sapporo. And it's, it's a gorge that's carved from volcanic ash that was spewed from Tarumai Zan, or uh, the volcano Tarumai. And it's diminutive in size, but it really packs a punch for beauty. And I'm hoping today to show you some of that beauty. I'm wearing some heavy duty river shoes. I'm gonna be trekking up the river and hopefully capturing a couple of nice images to show you today. Let's get started. This first image is just a step off into the river or stream or whatever you want to call it. The light was right and I took a shot. I think cropping it in a 16 by 9 ratio really gives the image some breadth, despite the narrow walls of the gorge. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So I'm shooting up the stream here and there's some wonderful diffused light coming through the trees and uh, I threw on a six stop neutral density filter because I want to get that water. There's just a little bit of rapids here so I'm able to with the six stop neutral density filter get that water to be nice and smooth and creamy looking. Now I'm shooting right in the middle of the river here and there's a quite a bit of movement on the camera so I I'm holding it down and making sure that I'm trying to get as, as little movement as possible because with the six stop neutral density filter, I'm getting about four, what is it? Uh, five seconds of uh, exposure. Any little movement is gonna cause uh, a bit of blur in the image. So 
I'm trying to be careful. Well, luckily I was because just a few minutes ago, I, as I was setting up here, a branch came down river and almost knocked my tripod over with me holding it. If I wasn't holding it, my camera would have been underwater. And this camera is not waterproof. From my starting point, I actually decided to go downstream rather than up. It was filled with logs and other debris, and the gorge had changed a bit since my last visit. As I walked, I looked for possible features that could highlight the gorge's unique landscape. Here, I loved how this tree had found a way to take root in the cracks of the wall. As the gorge's walls closed in further, I followed one of my favorite YouTube photographer's advice. Thomas Heaton often reminds his viewers, don't forget to turn around. There might be a better image there than what's in front of you. So I did just that, and I captured what is my favorite image of the day. I have on here a polarizing filter and I want to change it for a six stop neutral density filter. Rah! And I can't. There we go. Changing filters, taking off my lens cap in the middle of a river. It's enough to give me a little heart attack here. One little slip and it's gone. The six stop filter on. Further down the gorge, there's a couple of almost arches made by the cliffs on the opposing sides. And the way that the water is coming through, there's a couple little, very little rapids. And I'm thinking if I can get the water nice and smooth and creamy all the way through, it'll really accentuate that kind of natural arch. It looks almost like an hourglass. All of this is an experiment. I have no idea really what's going to work. And I'm just trying to find different compositions with the shapes of the, the canyon walls. There's so many little things I could photograph. There's ferns sticking out of the walls and things like that. But I really want to try and capture this location and not just the small details. know what you think in the comments below. Today is a hot and humid day, but down in the gorge, it feels like it's about 10 degrees cooler. It's uh, nature's air conditioning. All right, I'm going to try for one more shot before I go. And it's this one right here. So this rock here and the cliffs in the background I really like the perspective and the depth of uh, the image. So I'm gonna try and get a shot with the trees up above because I really like that canopy, that, the way that the light is diffused and coming through the trees. So we'll see. It's all an experiment, so I'm not sure how it'll come out. With all the craziness that's happening in the world right now, and uh, yesterday was a big one here for Japan, and it's nice to be able to get out away from everything and just enjoy the splendor and the beauty of nature. And it's much needed, I think, in these times, in troubled times. So if you can, just get out into the wilds of wherever you are and enjoy it. Take some pictures. Take a picnic, doesn't matter. I really would like to have some nice images from today, but if I don't, 
it doesn't matter. I've been able to breathe and relax and enjoy what's around me without having to think about all of the things outside of this moment. And uh, I think that's one of the things that I, I, I love about what I do with my photography. And it's not just the, the final product. It's the, uh, it's the journey and what happens on the way. So find some peace of mind however you can. Thanks everyone. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.